Thank you very much, Paul. It is great to be back for our deciding game between EG and Vega, who will take game number three and be the first team to get into the semi-final. Don't really take much damage to Stout Shield, and of course had three creeps on support, so Artizi has to back down. <laughs> and Max got Tranquil, so he'll be healing up too. Well, oh, jump here again. we go. They're going up to Solo with a chilling touch bonus damage. They have more than enough to do the work, and EG will claim first blood. Not the strongest of lanes, but EG. Double hot key, so. Loses that a little bit, so he has to buy a new one. Um, like the idea of running around with a Mango and Dazzle here actually always allows you uh, to... Bottom lane, PPD, caught out by Mag. TZ will come and join him. That coffee still going to hit, and with the Decay coming in from the Undying, combining with the Tombstone, Vega will get revenge on the bottom lane. Level 6. But considering how aggressive Vega are positioning themselves, like up on this top lane, Fear and Universe, they're gonna go for Solo. The Nightmare preps the work. The Hawk on the tree line is what helped him out, and it's just a successful rotation for Samal. He doesn't have mana for his Sonic Wave, but Cooldown's gonna make this very difficult. The Universe can't catch up, but Fear still in range for the Brain Sap, but Samal goes down. Parts with a great rotation. It's gonna be picking up two now for Vega. No one's on the run after Fear. Not and maybe. So oh, he's got powerful off cooldown. <laughs> Is he gonna go? He's gonna have a crack. It's gonna hit Fear. <gasps> 11 HP on fear. But he's playing it very safe underneath the tower. EG are wasting a lot of time if they don't end up finding this kill somehow. They, they really want to go there. Samel's going to walk in. Starts the Shadow Strike. This is now, not happening. Yeah, they're, they're baiting the TP. They bring the Dazzle down. Now, the Dire Observe War did get out the fact that Mag was rotating. And Arteezy blinks into him. Mag will drop the cogs. gets burned out a little bit. So that blink on cooldown for six seconds. The Shackle latches on Arteezy. No one needs more damage. The Ice Blast on the way in. Combining with a Sonic Wave. It doesn't really do enough. The AM's already down. It's a one-for-one -one trade off with the win range being the collateral. Mag will keep the AA out, but Samael, no blink for three more seconds. He needs to get himself out. Now the blink is up, away from the Rock of Arasha pasture, but Solo dropping down the tombstone. Still no blink for Samael. Has to use his one charges. And he will get away from the rest of Vegas. So just a straight out one for one. And of that. The only thing that would really slow this down properly is when PBD reaches base, it can have the mana to throw out the Ice Blast. Which is now coming down. It's going to hit Pasha pretty hell as well. In fact, it hits all three heroes. There's no one to follow it up. In fact, it's some male in the middle lane who gets burnt out by the clockwork cogs. So 18, 19 minutes at this rate. Yeah, it really delays him. Mag. Universe. Okay, he's going to walk down to Universe, which will allow for the raw, the ice blast, and then uh, boom with the mana void. Not even required. Ends up saving it in EG. Just a good prep for that fight. Worth the worth the chance, right? If it doesn't work out, oh well. You got 40 uh, seconds to hold on. Okay. Samel just blinks away, leaving Arteezy. Arteezy, now he's got to do the same thing. Away from both pasture as well as Mag, but Mag's going to hookshot himself down. Samel has got some extra damage. Arteezy needs more time. Gets his way through the cogs. And in fact, with Fear holding pasture in, the Fear Trip's going to do the work. The Ice Boss will connect. Jarakum is going to go down. Now you have Sonic Wave will spill, but no one's there. They're going to get a one for one trade off. Samel blinks himself forward, but Dazzle can go to work now. There's still Shadow Grave available, and they isolate Fear while Fear isolates himself Radiant's inside the Nightmare. Touch. He can't brain zap, can't do anything. And that'll be a two for one trade off, but you trade your two supports. So the Gyrocopter Core. Mag's also in a bit of no man's land. Shadow Strike from Samal will be able to slow him down. Fear just commits instantly into the Fiend's Crypt. They want a quick and very efficient kill before that Blade Mal can be triggered. Hey, they're actually going to smoke themselves up while sitting inside the river. Power shutting and going. They need that Hawk, they need the vision. And now the hook shot up. They go after Universe. Samael, well, he's sitting around, but if he throws that Sonic Wave, he's going to end up hurting himself more than helping. So Vega, they bring down the Beastmaster. Tombstone has been popped, and it's not in really the most favorable position. Solo, he, he can't solve it to keep it alive. And Roshan's low. Now the Ice Blast does come in. Very small radius, however, because PPD is just too close. Throws down the Vortex. They sting inside the pit. The Sonic Wave! I got to Roshan! Roshan denies him! Samal will get killed up by Windranger. Roshan finally brought down. And it will be the Aegis the Mortal into the hands of the Windranger. That was a very costly Rosh to take, though. It took them very, very long. Arteezy should be on top of Pretty good timing for Arteezy here. They got a gank, bottom lane. This was the hero. With a the smoke, they can just roar onto Pasha. Fiend Strip can be committed as well. And in fact, Fear gonna brain stamp as well as Fiend Strip. They really, really wanted that gyro dead. 
I feel like EG are in a very confident play They're not here. fighting. In fact, Artizi just blinked back up into no one as well as Mag. Because he wastes a little bit more time here, he can blink a second time. And with the Kree Wave arriving, Mag doesn't have a clean line for a hook shot, but he'll still be out of latches. One more second of the blink, the shackle won't latch, and Artizi blinks over the cogs in a way. The power shot will still connect. But there's so much committal, and now EG understand the two big cores are up on the top second, fight on bottom, winning solo. This time that Ice Blast will connect with the Sonic Wave. They get through the Undying and down towards Seema, putting that Orchid to work. <laughs> the bottom tower can also be denied up. So EG, but only do they keep their enemy major alive. So far ahead now that Ve Vega are losing this game very, very much <laughs> over the last few minutes when it was looking so good for them. They're just not able to put the amount of pressure that they need to. At least they can kill PPD here. No one jumps in. Power shot will get the vision. And PPD, PPD will die to Vega. Her universe away from the tombstone, but he remained calm. Killed it off in TP. There goes another tower the way of Vega. No one will claim that one. Well, the Ice Blast flying up to the top lane, Undying's already down. So Solo might be able to play Intimidation Tactics previously, but not much mana at the moment, but he still does a lot of damage. He's going for a lot of points up in stats too, as, uh, as this Animage. Yep. That's the way to go. Mid tier 1 tower, okay, it's within deny range, they want to go for this, Samal just jumps forward, gets the Orchid over on Seema, commits the Sonic Wave, so Seema should pop from the Orchid attack, and with the Ice Blast connecting on Mag Clockwork, wants to TP out, the Nightmare will end up canceling this, after they take the tower, they'll take the Clockwork as well, and Solo running forward, but this Tombstone won't do anything, he saw us to keep it up, but because he sticks around so long, Samal can slow him down, attack him up, and allow Artizi to find the pick, and no one, he arrives with the Orchid's already off cooldown, Pashamai let this cooldown go, but he's Nightmare in control for the moment, was able to walk himself out of the cold feet. And Artizi, there's no trees to be shackled to. In fact, the male's still on this front line. His blink is available. Radiant structures. And EG, fortified. they take three heroes now, as well as that. And Vega, they're trying to use no one as bait. EG feel this, so they just throw the ice blast down behind the wind ranger. Blink, oh. shackle, it latches. It actually got the real Artur. And now Solo moving forward. Hook shots, and you keep that control up with the pushback. They're able to do it. Vega bringing down the anti-mage. So may I'll try to slow it down, but he may lose his own life for this one. They need one tree for no one to work with, and, well, they also need the space. Uh, well, they might have a chance for it. Yeah. That Aghanim Scepter is now up for the clockwork. So if Vega are going to play their style... Well, okay. Well, their style might be to lose Seema. The Sonic Wave is going to kill him anyway. Man getting chilled up by that Ice Blast. Does not want to hurdle himself for... He's a great late gamer. Uh, he's not one of the absolute strongest, but he is up against one of the best counters, which is actually that Wind Ranger. Pasha, real trouble. Yeah, the universe just blinks forward with a sonic wave, they've got the kill. <laughs> and you got the Beastmaster running around with the gem. So you can't keep your own wards up. And the one war and the wards you do keep up might will just be off target. Solo. Okay, yeah. The heavy commitment, making sure there's no fault. That Ice Blast actually connects on no one. They'll get the Shackle on Fear, but Fear is still with four staff available. Limit kept himself to safety. Mag trying to get the other side of the Wild Wing so he can hook it himself up. But the Orcus there from Samal, the Blade Man will stop the attack. And Fear did four staff himself up for the cold out. He's going to brain that one of the Mungoms to give him life. It's a male drops. Vega, they need a little bit more from this. Nartizi, well, he classed EE -E as well. And there's Roshan up, which he can solo. You might be looking for a fight here. Well, he, sold found it, one. he sold his land. No one bottom lane blink. Raw's gonna go. Samel. Sonic Wave with the Ice Blast connecting. The Beastmaster actually gets almost 800 gold for this. And Fear, Nightmares over on the Undying. This allows them to kill off the Tombstone and then attack in to this Undying. Wait out the Nightmare, surround him hard, and now Solo will be brought down. They might even find more because Seema gets caught out. And EG, they're basically playing Leapfrog on the bottom lane. Catching up to Pasha. Samalus is a little bit too far away, can blink fall but has no disable. But EG doesn't really matter for them. Okay, <laughs> Artizi just goes in anyway, kills off the homing missile. The Kree wave still hasn't arrived for them, so the backdoor regeneration is there. Initiation, he's got everything back off cooldown. And EG, they're just poised, seeing if Vega will give them the opening. They follow Windranger. <laughs> 
And there's no there's no choice for Bane no one coming. here. He can't. Mag, he's in a good position for a hook shot for Bane. The Nightmare is gonna stop this, and this buys the time. It's so big time, and the boar even blocks out. They can't finish the job, but Cog trying to push him back, but it's taken out by the Dire side. Roshan belongs to EG, and the fight will go their way to the Mana Void. Spilling so much damage out with a scream. His three down, and basically game. GG! EG will be the first team here at the Frankfurt Major to get into the semi-finals. Pushing Vega down 2-1 here in the quarters. And it really just comes, it comes down to Vega's inability to shut down the AM early on. I thought they would invest a lot more resources into disallowing Arteezy from getting this game. From a draft perspective, I feel like they don't have the counters needed.